Hey everyone, the man behind King Size Customs, Kevin A. Creedon, here with a RLC unboxing. Now this is special, I remember buying it. You guys might also get a glimpse of my dog in this video. He is standing on my lap right now as we speak. Say hi, Buckley. Say hi. So that's my dog, Buckley. He is a Bernese Mountain Dog mixed with a Poodle. He's a miniature Bernese Mountain Dog. Uh, mixed with a miniature poodle. He is seven months old. God, if he was a full-size poodle or a full-size Bernese mountain dog, he would be huge. And here he comes trying to lick the camera. So you might get a little bit of a dog's tongue here. But anyway, I will talk to you guys more about Buckley maybe a little bit later. Um, so here it is. The 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track. This is a really cool uh, RLC car. Some of them, you know, the R RLC, I'm kind of up in the air. Some cars are cool. Some cars are not. You know, there's some that we like more than others, I'll say. There, that's the most diplomatic way to be about it. Um, I think I've bought almost every RLC car, so... All right, guys, I'm going to put the camera down and crack this open off screen because I need both hands. All right, so there it is out of the package. You get this outer sleeve here, this inner sleeve with a little plastic cover on it, and you get this little uh, topper for it. It gives you, maybe it gives you, yeah, there you go. It gives you a little bit of information there. I wasn't really a big fan of the Bronco in the in real life, this Bronco at least. Well, that's kind of cool. They ship it to you with the top. They ship it to you with the top and the doors off. Now, please tell me that the top and the doors are in here. Snap onto pin. Okay. And they're not in there. Well, that's strange. I hope I get my doors. I hope I have my doors. I hope I have my roof here. Otherwise, we're gonna have a bit of a problem. Oh, okay. So there's the roof, there's the doors. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around. That way I have my camera sitting on something and so I can see what I'm doing and show you guys how to do this. All right. All right, guys, so your roof piece and your doors come in your packaging in this little sleeve here. So when you get yours, keep that in mind. Now, there's a little pin that you need to snap the doors on. And I'll do that for you. It's gonna be hard to show you on camera. And also to keep in mind, I'm legally blind, so I'm going to be doing this by feel. And if I can do it, you guys should be able to. Now, I'm also kind of doing this in the dark. Okay, there's our pin right there. You guys can probably see it better than me because you're watching it on a bigger screen. I'm watching it in real life. Where is our door here? Okay, where's our pin? Oh, keep in mind, you want to do this in a pretty well-lit area, unlike me. And you also probably want to do it in an area where you can find your doors in case you drop them. All right. There's our instruction sheet. 
go from the top in. Okay. But what I like is they also give you a little bit of door card detail as well. So. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to put the wrong door on. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to actually take this into a better uh, lit environment real quick. All right, as you can tell, I'm in a better lit environment. So. There's our pin right here, this little metal piece. This is our door, this little hard to see, but... This little top piece here sits on that pin. Okay. Now, I mean, I like this. Don't get me wrong. This is a cool, innovative idea from Hot Wheels. But I honestly feel like part of it's a gimmick, to tell you the truth. So, take with that and take with that information what you will, but I don't know. I mean, it's a cool idea, it's creative, but I got a feeling a lot of people are going to have the same issues I have. You know, what would have been maybe a better idea for Hot Wheels to have done... A better execution on this is maybe have like magnetized doors. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not at the Hot Wheels Research and Development Center playing with these, trying to figure out what would be the best way. Or I'm not even in testing and development. I mean, I'm just a customizer, and I'm not as a customizer. I'm not even that impressive. Uh, I'm not as impressive as some of the other guys. So. Now, the instructions say do it this way, but Alright guys, um, this might be the end of the video, unless I can get them back, unless I can get the doors on, this is the end of the video, so I'll uh, sign out for now. So here's an interesting postscript to that video that you guys just watched of me struggling to put the doors in on the car. I was able to get the driver's side door. And it's pretty cool. It stays in there. This truck is very detailed. But I really think there's a problem with my passenger side door. Let's focus here. Because that silver thing in there is the pin. And then when I look at the driver side door. Of course you guys are seeing it at such a high focus. Or such a high magnification. And this might not show. 
But when I look at my driver's side door, or passenger side door, I'm sorry. There seems to be a little bit of a, too much of a gap in there. All right, bear with me on this one. So that's the passenger side door. And the pin is supposed to go in. Uh, it's not going to focus. So the pin's supposed to go in that black part here. But I really think there's too much of a gap there. You can't. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it just falls right out. So, alrighty, guys, this is how I'm going to leave it. I will give you guys some extra uh, nice shots of this vehicle. Um, I give it about a a nine out of ten. I think I think the pin idea is a cool idea with the having the doors go on and off and being able to be opened. And they do actually. The door usually does stay open. Um, the roof does come off. See, there's the door open. Um, you know, I'm not too worried about that passenger side door being off. Uh, it's cool for um, artistic shots. So you can actually get more detail. Um, and you don't have to worry about having the door open. But other than that, I don't really think it's... A bad vehicle. I like that they attempted this. Um, and it's probably not their fault that my door doesn't go on. I may have been a little too rough with the passenger side door. So, anyway. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoy my glamour shots. Later.